Hey guys, it's Jenna here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a video that I have not done in quite some time. The thing is, I don't even really remember placing this order. I'm sure it must have been really late at night and I was very tired. But it got done and uh, I came home today to a package. So I guess we're going to do a book out when unboxing. Um... I'm going, I'm hoping that I can do this all in one take. I've had really bad hiccups and acid reflux today. So I'm just hoping I can get this just done and over with because whew, no joke. I'm sorry, my bed is just covered because Rachel and I just ran errands. But yes, I have a book outlet order. And I'm pretty excited because I literally have no idea what I ordered. Oh my god, I haven't done one of these in so long. You guys want to see what I got? Because I don't even know what I got. Books. Do these still come with a receipt? Not one that I'm seeing. I guess not. So I guess we're just going to start from the top. The first book is Black Enough. It's an anthology edited by Ibby Zoboy and it has authors like Justina Ireland, Varian Johnson, Rita Williams Garcia, Danielle Clayton, Keekla Magoon, Leah Henderson, Tochi Anyabuchi, Jason Reynolds, Nick Stone, Liara Tamani, Renee Watson, Tracy Baptiste, Co Booth, Brandy Colbert, Jay Coles, Ibby Zoboy, and Lamar Giles. And this is just stories about being black in America. And I figured now is as good a time as I need to pick it up. And I guess that's what I was figuring. I don't remember placing this order though, you guys. So I'm just going to have to pull excuses on why I got these out of thin air, I guess. Oh, Next we have Hold Still by Nina LaCour. What's this about? I'm assuming that this is a sad book because Nina LaCour is known for these and it might be gay. Oh, it's about a suicide. Yeah, it's a gay suicide story. Sounds right up my alley. Pretty cover though. I like it. That might be something Rachel would like to read because it's short and it's sweet and it's gay. What's this? A Heart and a Body... A Heart and a Body in the World by Deb Coletti. Um. Okay. Apparently there's this girl on the run who is going on a path to healing. I don't know, but it sounds pretty good. Stop it. Oh no, not again. I got another fish today, you guys. Ooh, next we have The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. This is a hard-hitting contemporary thing. I've heard a lot about this. Ooh, apparently this girl's brother committed suicide. Why am I buying so many books? Oh my god. Hmm. So apparently it's just about her story trying to move on from that. This is going to be a really short unboxing, guys. I It's been so long since I've done one that I don't even really remember how to do one. So this is probably going to be... Ooh, book. A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Fantasy. It's just black underneath. Apparently this is about a 16-year-old named Eva, who is a princess born with the magic of blood and marrow, which is a dark and terrible magic that hasn't been seen for generations. Hmm. Huh. This sounds pretty dang good, to be honest. It's an enthralling adventure set in lush Northern North Africa inspired fantasy world. Ooh. It's very pretty. 
pretty cover. Like, look at these two queens. They're beautiful. Hmm. Next, we have How to Hang a Witch by Adrian a Adriana Mather. Ooh, apparently, oh, being the new girl is tough. Being the new girl in Salem could be deadly. She just moved, this girl named Samantha. The girl named the main character after herself. Her name is Adriana Mather and the girl's name is Samantha Mather. And she just moved to Salem, Massachusetts, which is the site of the witch trials. Tell everyone. But when your great, 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 great grandfather was the one putting the accused witches on trial, She's targeted by a group of girls known as the Descendants, Descendants of the Witches. Oh, she's confronted by this ghost. She is at a center of a centuries-old curse, da-da-da-da-da. Hmm. Salem's history repeating itself. Sounds interesting. Like I said, I really don't remember ordering any of these, so I'm kind of like, oh, okay, I guess. Is this a romance? Um, I got Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. I don't know what these are about, you guys. Uh, okay, a girl named Pepper. I think it's a girl. Swim, 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 swim team captain. Chronic over. Yep, yeah, her family may be falling apart. Massive food, fast food chain is booming, mainly thanks to Pepper, who is. Oh, so she's running her family's fast food Twitter account. And then this man named Jack is apparently rivals with the girl Pepper. He works in his family's deli. Ooh, apparently their rival store their rival restaurants and Pepper's family steals his grandma's iconic grilled cheese recipe. Oh. And okay, they turn into like a rival twiddle viral twitter war <laughs> oh so they're publicly <laughs> why can't i talk they're publicly duking it out on twitter between restaurants and they're falling for each other in real life but neither knows that they run each other's twitter accounts okay i don't normally gravitate towards romance but i, I guess past me may have thought that this was up my alley so I guess I have Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. Ooh. Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno. On the island of By the Sea you could always smell two things salt and magic. Magic has touched every woman in Georgina Fernway's family. No one on the island of By the Sea. I'm sorry, but they literally have an island named By the Sea. Okay, so apparently the Fernways are like witches or something. No one on the island of By the Sea would ever call the Fernways what they really are, but then again, no one questions the weather, moodier than a summer storm, or the allegedly 300-year-old bird who comes to roost on the island each year. But when By the Sea is rocked by an unthinkable act, what made the Fernway women sun special suddenly cast them into suspicion. Over the course of one summer, a season of storm, love, and salt, Georgina will learn the truth about magic in all its many forms. Sounds... Pretty good. I love the cover. I love the art on this. Oh, I... I'm curious to see... This is gay. It doesn't have, um, the genre, but there's that. Faith Taking Flight by Julie Murphy. Ooh. I love Julie Murphy. 
Um, apparently this girl named Faith is a pretty regular teen. She's, hang she's not hanging around with her two best friends. She's volunteering at the local animal shelter or obsessing over the long running teen drama. She spent her senior year sorting out her feelings for her maybe crush and making plans to stay close to her grandma after graduation. Oh, apparently she just discovered she could fly. Wow. The fictional world of the TV show she was obsessing over crashes into her reality as the show relocates to her town. Her TV heroine takes a romantic interest in her, but her fandom fuel daydreams aren't enough to distract Faith from the fact that first animals, then people, have begun to vanish from the town. Only Faith seems to be able to connect the dots to a new designer drug infiltrating her high school. Her investigation puts the people she loves in danger, and she will have to confront her hidden past and use her newfound gifts, risking everything to save her friends in the beloved town. Hmm. Ooh, it's a really pretty blue under the cover. I'm sorry that I'm not more enthusiastic about these guys. I'm just very confused. <laughs> This is a lot of books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How much did this cost me? I don't even have a receipt. I am bamboozled. And this book is dusty. It's very pretty cover. I very much so love the aesthetic. The The Lantern's Ember by Colleen Hook. Didn't she write? I think she wrote the Tiger's Curse series. My feet are cold. I turned the air on. Uh, yeah, I got this. What is this about? <clears throat> He's kept the darkest monsters and demons at bay for centuries. She's a bold, brilliant witch dead set on slipping past him. The Crossroads Keeper may have finally met his match. Savannah! Can you not, please, ma'am? Oh yeah, she did write the Tiger's Curse series. Ember O'Dear has a secret. She is a natural-born witch. From an early age, she's had a knack for crafting potions and felt an indescribable pull to the ancient bridge in her town of Hallowell. Little does she know, the bridge is a gateway to the other world, which is a realm crawling with fiendish beasts. And Jack, an ever-vigilant watchman, is committed to keeping meddlesome mortals away. His task is simple, or it would be if he weren't falling for the very witch he's trying to keep out. Psst. She's messing around with all the paper. Undeterred by Jack's warnings, Ember crosses into the Forbidden Plain and sets off a chase through a world beyond her wildest imaginings. Now Jack must do everything in his power to rescue his true love before both the earthly and unearthly worlds descend into chaos. Classic folklore in this wild, twisting adventure propelled by the spirit of Halloween. Sounds very fancy. Ooh, and this is like a bougie book. So yeah, that is what I got from Book Outlet, guys. Unexpectedly, but there it is. I got four hardcovers and six paperbacks. Um, okay then. Anyways, this is what I got. So, that's fun. I guess. That's a lot of books. I guess it's a good thing I just cleared more shelf space, huh? So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I really hope that Book Outlet still isn't cancelled because I had to have given them at least, like, 40 bucks for this order. So, let me know in the comments down below if Book Outlet is still cancelled. Uh, if it is, I'm sorry guys, I don't remember ordering this. I didn't even get a receipt. I'm kind of confused, but... Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And I am hoping to do a 24-hour readathon tonight. We will see if I feel comfortable enough to do that. Because there's a lot of things I have to get done today. But regardless, there's an unboxing. Haven't had one of those in a while. So... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time for a brand new video.